Chapter 5, Jamie Emerges Jamie awoke to the soft light of dawn filtering through the curtains. She stretched, feeling the unfamiliar yet increasingly familiar pull of her new body. Each movement was a reminder of the transformation she had undergone. She got out of bed and padded to the bathroom, her bare feet making soft thuds on the wooden floor. The cool tiles sent a pleasant shiver up her spine as she stood in front of the mirror, taking a moment to study the reflection that, day by day, felt less like a stranger and more like herself. Her hair, now a rich chestnut brown, fell in gentle waves past her shoulders. She ran her fingers through it, marveling at its softness. Her face, with its delicate features and full lips, looked back at her with a mixture of curiosity and determination. She traced the line of her jaw, the curve of her cheekbones, and the arch of her eyebrows. This is me now. Jamie, she thought, feeling a mix of acceptance and resolve. She splashed water on her face, the coolness invigorating her, and began her morning routine. Sarah was already in the kitchen, making breakfast when Jamie walked in. The smell of coffee and freshly toasted bread filled the air. Sarah looked up and smiled warmly. Good morning, Jamie. How did you sleep? Jamie returned the smile, feeling a sense of normalcy settling in. Better, actually. Each day, it feels a little more natural. Sarah nodded, handing Jamie a cup of coffee. That's good to hear. You're doing amazing, you know. Adapting so quickly. Jamie took the cup, the warmth seeping into her hands. Thanks, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without you. They ate breakfast together, chatting about their plans for the day. It was a simple, comforting routine that grounded Jamie, making her feel more secure in her new life. After breakfast, they went through a checklist of things they needed to do to further solidify Jamie's new identity. Sarah had made an appointment for Jamie at a local salon to get her hair styled professionally. It was another step in helping Jamie blend into her new role. The salon was a cozy, welcoming space with soft music playing in the background. The stylist, a friendly woman named Lisa, greeted them with a warm smile. Hi there. You must be Jamie. I'm Lisa, and I'll be taking care of you today. Jamie smiled nervously. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Lisa led Jamie to a chair and draped a cape around her shoulders. So, what are we thinking today? Jamie looked at Sarah, who nodded encouragingly. I was thinking something that's easy to manage but looks stylish. Lisa nodded, her hands already moving through Jamie's hair, assessing its texture and length. I have just the thing. You have beautiful hair, Jamie. We'll give you a cut that enhances your natural waves and is easy to style. As Lisa worked, Jamie found herself relaxing. The sensation of someone else's hands in her hair was soothing, and she closed her eyes, enjoying the experience. She let her mind wander, reflecting on the journey that had brought her here. I'm really doing this. I'm becoming Jamie, she thought, a mix of excitement and nervousness bubbling within her. When Lisa finished, Jamie looked in the mirror, amazed at the transformation. Her hair was styled in soft, elegant waves that framed her face perfectly. She looked sophisticated and confident, a woman who knew who she was. Wow, Lisa. This is amazing. Thank you, Jamie said, her voice filled with genuine gratitude. Lisa beamed. You're welcome, Jamie. You look fantastic. Back at home, Jamie and Sarah continued to work on refining Jamie's mannerisms and behavior. They practiced walking, sitting, and standing with grace. Jamie learned to move with a fluidity that felt both natural and deliberate. Remember, confidence is key, Sarah said as Jamie practiced walking in heels. If you believe in yourself, others will too. Jamie nodded, focusing on each step. The heels were tricky at first, but she gradually found her balance. She practiced until her movements felt smooth and confident. They also worked on Jamie's voice, helping her to soften her tone and modulate her pitch. Sarah read lines from a book, and Jamie repeated them, mimicking her sister's inflections and rhythms. Your voice is sounding great, Jamie, Sarah said after a long practice session. You're really getting the hang of it. Jamie smiled, feeling a sense of accomplishment. Thanks, Sarah. 
It's all thanks to your help. As the days went by, Jamie continued to refine her new identity. She spent hours practicing makeup techniques, experimenting with different looks until she found her style. She learned to apply foundation flawlessly, to highlight her cheekbones, and to create depth and drama with eyeshadow. Each brushstroke was a step towards mastering her new persona. Sarah was always there, offering guidance and support. They spent evenings talking about Jamie's feelings and experiences, helping her to process the emotional aspects of her transformation. I still feel like me, but different, Jamie said one night as they sat on the porch. It's hard to explain. Sarah nodded, understanding. You're still you, Jamie. Your core hasn't changed. You're just discovering new aspects of yourself. Jamie looked out at the darkening sky, feeling a sense of peace. I guess you're right. I'm learning to embrace this new version of me. One afternoon, as Jamie was practicing her makeup, Sarah brought up the topic of the escort job again. Jamie, we need to start thinking about your future. Have you given more thought to becoming an escort? Jamie sighed, putting down the makeup brush. I have. It's a big step, but I think it's the best option for now. I need to support myself, and it's a way to stay hidden. Sarah nodded, her expression serious. Okay. We need to approach this carefully. I've done some research, and there are agencies that handle high-class escorts. They provide security and ensure discretion. It's important that we choose one that prioritizes safety. Jamie listened, her nerves tingling with a mix of fear and determination. I trust you, Sarah. Let's proceed with caution. They spent the evening researching different agencies, looking for ones with good reputations and strict security measures. They found a few that seemed promising and made a list of potential contacts. Tomorrow, we'll start reaching out to these agencies, Sarah said. We'll find the right fit for you. Jamie nodded, feeling a sense of resolve. Okay. I'm ready. The next day, they made calls to the agencies on their list. Jamie's heart pounded with each conversation, but she remained calm and composed, using the skills she had practiced with Sarah. They arranged a few meetings with agency representatives, setting up appointments for the coming days. Remember, Jamie, Sarah said before their first meeting. Be confident and assertive. You're in control of this process. Jamie took a deep breath, nodding. I will. Thank you, Sarah. The meetings went well, with Jamie presenting herself as a poised and professional young woman. She answered questions confidently, showcasing her intelligence and charm. The agency representatives were impressed, and a few offered her positions on the spot. After careful consideration, Jamie and Sarah chose an agency that prioritized safety and discretion. The agency provided thorough training and support, ensuring that Jamie would be well prepared for her new role. The training was intense but invaluable. Jamie learned how to handle different types of clients, how to maintain boundaries, and how to ensure her safety. She was taught techniques for engaging in conversation, making clients feel at ease, and providing a memorable experience. Throughout the training, Jamie's confidence grew. She felt empowered by the knowledge and skills she was gaining. She was ready to take on this new challenge and make it work for her. Jamie's first assignment as an escort was both nerve-wracking and exciting. She prepared meticulously, choosing an elegant dress and applying her makeup with care. Sarah helped her with the final touches, offering words of encouragement. You look stunning, Jamie, Sarah said, her eyes filled with pride. You're going to do great. Jamie smiled, feeling a surge of determination. Thanks, Sarah. I'll do my best. The client, a successful businessman, was charming and respectful. Jamie used the skills she had learned, engaging him in conversation and making him feel comfortable. As the evening progressed, she found herself enjoying the interaction, her nerves fading away. I can do this, she thought, feeling a sense of accomplishment. I'm capable of handling this new life. Over the next few weeks, Jamie continued to work as an escort, each assignment building her confidence and experience. She navigated her new life with grace and resilience, always mindful of her safety and boundaries. Sarah remained her steadfast support, always there to listen and offer advice. 
They talked about Jamie's experiences, helping her to process the emotional aspects of her job. I'm proud of you, Jamie, Sarah said one evening. You're handling everything with such strength and grace. Jamie smiled, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. I couldn't have done it without you, Sarah. Thank you for everything. As the weeks turned into months, Jamie fully embraced her new identity. She was no longer just surviving, she was thriving. She had built a new life for herself, one filled with challenges but also with opportunities for growth and self-discovery. She stood in front of the mirror one morning, looking at her reflection with pride. She was Jamie, a confident and capable young woman. The journey had been difficult, but she had emerged stronger and more resilient. With Sarah by her side, Jamie knew she could face whatever the future held. She was ready to continue her journey, embracing her new life with courage and determination. This is my new beginning, she thought, a smile spreading across her face. And I'm ready for whatever comes next. Chapter 6 New Life, New Challenges Jamie woke up to the gentle sound of birds chirping outside her window. The morning light streamed through the curtains, casting a warm glow across the room. She stretched luxuriously, her body feeling both familiar and new. Each day, she grew more accustomed to her transformation, yet there were moments when the reality of her new identity still took her by surprise. She sat up in bed, running her fingers through her hair, which now felt like a part of her. The long, silky strands had become a comforting presence. Jamie took a deep breath, savoring the peaceful start to her day. She had come so far since that desperate night when she had fled to Sarah's house. Today is a new day, she thought, feeling a sense of optimism. Jamie walked into the kitchen, where Sarah was already busy making breakfast. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee filled the air, and Jamie felt a wave of gratitude for her sister's unwavering support. Good morning, Sarah, Jamie said, smiling as she took a seat at the table. Sarah turned around with a warm smile. Good morning, Jamie. How did you sleep? Pretty well, actually, Jamie replied, taking a sip of the rich, dark brew. I'm feeling more and more like myself every day. Sarah nodded, her eyes filled with pride. You're doing great, Jamie. I'm so proud of you. Jamie felt a warm glow of appreciation. Thank you, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without you. They ate breakfast together, discussing their plans for the day. Jamie had a few appointments lined up with clients, and Sarah had errands to run. It was a simple, comforting routine that helped Jamie feel grounded. After breakfast, Jamie went to her room to get ready. She stood in front of her closet, carefully selecting an outfit that was both elegant and professional. She chose a sleek black dress that accentuated her curves and paired it with a pair of classic black heels. She applied her makeup with practiced precision, creating a look that was both sophisticated and alluring. As Jamie prepared to leave for her first appointment, Sarah came into her room, a look of concern on her face. Jamie, I know you've been doing great, but I just want to remind you to be careful. Always trust your instincts and don't take any unnecessary risks. Jamie nodded, appreciating Sarah's concern. I will, Sarah. I promise. I've learned a lot, and I'm always cautious. Sarah hugged Jamie tightly. I just worry about you. I want you to be safe. Jamie hugged her back, feeling a surge of gratitude. I know, and I appreciate it. I'll be okay. With that reassurance, Jamie left the house and headed to her first appointment. As she walked through the bustling streets, she felt a mix of excitement and determination. She had embraced her new identity, and she was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Jamie's first client of the day was a successful businessman named Robert. He was charming and respectful, and Jamie found herself enjoying their conversation. She used the skills she had learned, engaging him in witty banter and making him feel at ease. You have a great sense of humor, Jamie, Robert said, laughing at one of her jokes. Thanks, Robert. I enjoy these conversations too, Jamie replied, feeling a sense of pride. After her appointment with Robert, Jamie had a short break before her next client. She decided to stop by a nearby cafe for a coffee. 
As she sat at a small table, sipping her drink, she noticed a group of women chatting animatedly nearby. They were stylish and confident, their laughter filling the air. I wonder if I'll ever feel that comfortable in my new identity, Jamie thought, a pang of longing in her chest. She had made great strides, but there were still moments when she felt like an imposter, struggling to fully embrace her new self. Jamie's next client was a lawyer named David. He was intelligent and engaging, and Jamie found herself drawn into their conversation. They discussed everything from current events to literature, and Jamie felt a genuine connection with him. You're very easy to talk to, Jamie. I feel like I can be myself around you, David said, looking at her thoughtfully. Thank you, David. I enjoy our conversations as well, Jamie replied, feeling a warmth in her chest. David sighed, a hint of sadness in his eyes. I wish we could spend more time together, outside of these appointments. Jamie felt a pang of guilt. She had to maintain professional boundaries, but she couldn't deny the connection she felt with David. I appreciate that, David. But you know this is my job. David nodded, a look of understanding on his face. I know. It's just, you're different from anyone I've met. Jamie smiled, feeling a mix of emotions. I appreciate that, David. And I enjoy our time together. As Jamie walked back to her apartment, she reflected on her interactions with her clients. She enjoyed the connections she made, but she also felt the weight of maintaining her professional persona. It was a delicate balance, one that required constant vigilance and self-awareness. When she arrived home, Sarah was waiting for her. How did it go today, she asked, her eyes filled with concern. Jamie smiled, feeling a sense of relief at being back in the safety of her home. It went well. I had some good conversations, and made some connections. Sarah nodded, her expression serious. I'm glad to hear that. Just remember to always be careful, Jamie. You're doing great, but I worry about you. Jamie hugged Sarah tightly, feeling a surge of gratitude for her sister's support. I know, Sarah. And I appreciate it. I'll always be careful. They spent the evening talking about Jamie's experiences, helping her to process the emotional aspects of her job. Sarah listened attentively, offering advice and support. I'm proud of you, Jamie, Sarah said, her eyes filled with love. You're handling everything with such strength and grace. Jamie smiled, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. Thank you, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the next few weeks, Jamie continued to navigate her new life. She built strong connections with her clients, always mindful of maintaining professional boundaries. She learned to balance her job with her personal life, ensuring that she took time for self-care and relaxation. One afternoon, as Jamie was getting ready for an appointment, she received a call from her agency. They had a new client who had specifically requested her. Jamie felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. She always enjoyed meeting new clients, but she also knew that each new interaction came with its own set of challenges. She arrived at the upscale hotel where she was to meet her new client, feeling a sense of anticipation. As she walked into the elegant lobby, she took a deep breath, reminding herself to stay confident and composed. The client, a wealthy entrepreneur named Charles, was waiting for her in the hotel's private lounge. He was tall and distinguished, with a commanding presence. Jamie introduced herself, feeling a mix of curiosity and determination. Good evening, Mr. Charles, Jamie said, her voice steady and confident. I'm Jamie. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charles smiled, his eyes appraising her. The pleasure is mine, Jamie. Please, have a seat. They spent the evening talking, their conversation flowing easily. Charles was charming and intelligent, and Jamie found herself genuinely enjoying his company. She used the skills she had learned, engaging him in thoughtful conversation and making him feel at ease. You're a remarkable woman, Jamie. I've enjoyed our conversation immensely, Charles said, looking at her with a thoughtful expression. Thank you, Charles. I've enjoyed our time together as well, Jamie replied, feeling a warmth in her chest. Charles nodded, his eyes filled with a mix of curiosity and admiration. I hope to see you again soon, Jamie. Jamie nodded, feeling a sense of anticipation. I would like that, Charles. 
As Jamie walked back to her apartment, she felt a mix of emotions. She enjoyed the connections she made with her clients, but she also knew she had to be careful. It was a delicate balance, one that required constant vigilance and self-awareness. When she arrived home, Sarah was waiting for her. How did it go today, she asked, her eyes filled with concern. Jamie smiled, feeling a sense of relief at being back in the safety of her home. It went well. I met a new client, and we had a great conversation. Sarah nodded, her expression serious. I'm glad to hear that. Just remember to always be careful, Jamie. You're doing great, but I worry about you. Jamie hugged Sarah tightly, feeling a surge of gratitude for her sister's support. I know, Sarah. And I appreciate it. I'll always be careful. They spent the evening talking about Jamie's experiences, helping her to process the emotional aspects of her job. Sarah listened attentively, offering advice and support. I'm proud of you, Jamie, Sarah said, her eyes filled with love. You're handling everything with such strength and grace. Jamie smiled, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. Thank you, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without you.